and we are back with this British person I possibly spent too much time with. No such thing. Right. Well, Absolutely fine. Well, I loaded back even further, be in part because, well, that hand shaking every few seconds is quite annoying, and it doesn't seem like there's much uh, harm in, uh, you know, making use of information you already know, but haven't actually got it in the game, and so on. That I know the game doesn't track whether you've received the information or not, you could just be really lucky. Hmm. Anyway, also I took a look at a better walkthrough and discovered that apparently <laughs> what we are missing is we need to talk to this friendly chap some more, the guy we first met in the game. Howdy! Howdy, blood. Small Yoko. Yes, his friend is... or oh, his name is Small Yoko, I believe. And he talks about his dad again. Yes. So, we know we have to get some information out of this guy. Do you know what that information is? Well, I can quickly read about... Uh, because I haven't got a clue. Let's see... Also, mm -hmm. noticing something, our teleport prompt seems to have gone. So do we need to ask him uh, again if... Yeah, but that shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah. It just sort of came up the first time we met him. I think we got this far, but yeah. we didn't. We, we we didn't follow this line of thought. Mm. Yes. Uh, let's see me. I'm glad we have a guide, because I wouldn't have thought to press this line of inquiry. Hmm. 
I'm fairly sure I always suggest this, but it couldn't be as easy as just asking where he is, right? Mm. Like, do you know a location sort of thing? Mm. I think we may have tried that before. Oh. Hmm. Yes. Oh, it looks like no, unless it's coming at the end of this run. Uh, I seem to repeat things and add something to add stuff. At the end. Uh -huh. What if we just try... Seem to do something. give information. Well, yes, that makes sense. That's a truthism. Hmm. Well, like that quote about things we don't know that we don't know, but hmm. we do know that we don't know the other thing. <laughs> No great nonsense. Maybe it is someone's. <laughs> Me not want to say nonsense. Oh. Oh no, you don't. Well, that didn't go particularly well. instead <laughs> you great crazy what's <laughs> mm. mm, female crazy like Cruelly mm -hmm. okay mm, crazy go prison you crazy hmm Hmm. Mm. <coughs> How about the 
prison. Uh, spirit is one prison. Uh, yes. Do you know what this game means when it refers to spirit? Nope. Okay. I didn't know if it was like the concept of the soul or a sense of self-worth or being. I don't know. Mm. Oh, he didn't like talking about prisons. The little guy's afraid. At least he's happy enough to keep talking to us. Mm -hmm. At the very least, he said something nice before that. Yes. He's a friend. Sequence breaking, but let's see if this. Is. Mm. Oh, no book Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, this is what, according to the walkthrough, we are supposed to find out a book girl named Pop Unknown. Book girl not good. That seems needlessly confusing if we're also searching for his pop. Yes. <clears throat> Actually, uh, hmm. Actually based on previous experience, it might be... Uh, a better way to ask about someone's location might be to include the planet. I suppose that would make sense because otherwise you're asking where is Pop um, on one twenty four oh sixty nine. So uh, Pop unknown planet. Mm -hmm. uh, planet want peace. Great unknown. Me like no unknown. Hmm. Okay. Unknown. Great danger. Me not like. Seems like progress. Yeah, this looks like a new one. Mm. So I'm presuming this 
Spirit 137 is the name of the planet. The genetic great warrior crazy. Help the genetic it's reproduction. As trap for we know that. Trap for great planet, great missile danger. Yes, that is where it is. Not go to trap for well we don't need to <laughs> because we know what we want. And so now let's actually uh convince him and right, that was e easy. So now let's go to to this new chap named Pop Unknown. You know, if you think about it, we're the doubles now because we're like, what is this, our third timeline of doing this? Ah, uh, that doesn't count. Oh, fair enough. For some reason I thought it was, but I guess that's your altimeter. See, now we're just playing it risky, flying mm. too close to the planets. I was trying to get the altimeter to move, but... I don't have to get the cursor very low before it actually starts affecting your altitude. Yeah. How bizarre. How queer. Where's me washboard? Have you have watched the fast show, haven't you? I have indeed. Good. I was thinking about it just the other day. Mm. I was explaining to my friends, I feel that the fast show is a good example of a sketch show. Mm. Because you, you kind of know what each character is about, but every setting is different. It's not just, we're going to do something wacky and then say the catchphrase, mm. which is what a lot of sketch shows are. Actually, I've read that. That was your in flight ramble for me. That's kind of how the sh series got started. Uh, well, this oh, is. Oh, hello! Actually, hmm. This is new. And recursive. Yes, maybe it's supposed to be a. Uh, or depict some kind of centipede floating centipede like thing. Hmm. So let's see, what does the manual say about the bug goal? Okay, beings with a particular social behavior being obsessively democratic. 
all belong to Yatanga, which is the only political party around and whose one aim is to defend democracy as obsessively as possible. The president's term of office is not fixed. As soon as a Bugal attains a majority, he is elected. Since all are eligible for high office, presidents tend to change very frequently, sometimes every five minutes. At the time the story begins, the Bugal remains on Roscoe. He can't be elected owing to shortage of electors. He would need two more votes to become president of the planet Roscoe. An imposter, a Yukas, who doesn't even live on Roscoe, has got himself elected in a fixed election. Roscoe is now in political upheaval. And Yukas were the other species of belligerent and underhanded characters. Okay, anyway, information, ship unknown. Oh, he's quite technical and formal. Planet spirit. Ship forbidden. Prison dead. That seems foreboding. Soft mm. curse. Mm. I think he's suspecting us of of being a danger. Oh, let's try to convince him, him or her or whatever otherwise. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a new talker. Not good. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so he knows some others named Torka and Trauma. Right. Um, and he seems very violent. Fine. Let's ask about these. some stuff we don't know. I'm not sure what that K with the crown is. <laughs> Trauma good female. Hooray. Spirit mantris. Yes. That's this planet. Mm -hmm. Yes. K with the crown. King pack. No. Oh. I've not come across that one yet. Uh, well, we could actually ask him about all the available species. Me like no spirit you. Great scientists such no. You know code? Friend, friend. Hmm. No. Maybe friend, friend is the code? Hmm. Better Wait. write that down. Could we? Case. I mean, we could tell him that we don't know the code. <clears throat> Me not no Trump. Okay. Like no equals great. Oh, so me not. Oh, let's, let's try. Production or production, you like code, friend, friend. Mm. Mm. 
Mm, keep saying code friend friend, so maybe that really is the code. Mm. Could be. That seems like a really obvious one, though. Mm. Password <coughs> is password. Mm. Well, it's... Mm. Uh -uh. Actually, antenna... Let's see... Let's try asking about Robhead, since we met one of those on that one planet who didn't who wanted to know code and didn't 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 uh, let us any further. Mm. <coughs> I mean, mm. We've got the um, the coordinates of the planet, so if nothing else, we can try it. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Man, mm. now Crowley's getting the jitters. Mm. LP cancelled forever. Well, let's... I continue to be stumped. Uh, let's, let's try to... Mystery is uh, all the way down. Let's try to make chit-chat about... Well, she wants to talk about females. Coming around to your way of thinking, I, I, I think friend friend might just be the code. Mm. <clears throat> I don't think we tried asking about Torca's location. I hate to admit it, but every time I see the little coordinate thing flash up on the left, after I get very excited and whip out the pen ready to go, but <laughs> mostly they just reiterate where we are. Mm. Mm, no, that didn't even like that. Um, well, since the manual mentioned the place Roscoe. Might as well try to ask him about that. Sounds like a plan. Mm, great scientist section now. Roscoe, great planet bugle. Hmm. He mentioned great scientist stuff. Might might try asking if he knows any specific great scientists. 
No, maybe that's just, you know, great scientists are ones who search knowledge or something like that. Small is not great. This is correct! <laughs> oh, you guys, great. Oh, guys. Hmm. Can't pass that one. Well, the manual did mention that uh, you cast used underhanded means to win the election. Well, I, I, I get this much. I just can't pass the sentence. Usually I can get a, a, a gist of what's being said, but... Hmm. Less so with that one. Hmm. Well, this is clearly you cast bad curse insult absolutely mm. Mm -mm. Mm. see we try to ask about voting stuff oh you go planet rosco one Let's go one book Moloch. Moloch, not president. <laughs> you vote Moloch. Uh, I'm amazed that is a thing in this. <laughs> vote? Well, it did. Um, um, yeah, it's in, it, it's in the manual, but. <laughs> mm. So, maybe as the manual hinted, we need... <clears throat> maybe we need to find those two lacking votes for Mr. Morlock. Yes, let's go and vote Morlock. This has taken a very bizarre tangent. Uh, kinda reminds me of of when uh, in Jupiter ascending, there's sudden in the middle of everything, there's suddenly a a wacky bureaucracy. Sketch. Is that the one where everyone whispers? Well, there's that ch one one guy played by. What's the name of the British actor who won an Oscar for uh, the Stephen Hawking biopic? Yeah, <laughs> I know the one we mean. Yeah. Don't remember his name, but yeah, he plays a villain in there who does this throaty, breathy whisper <laughs> most of the time, and suddenly he shouts. <laughs> and it's meant to be all super serious, but he's just whispering his dialogue. <laughs> Nobody tries to shoot us down here. That's good for diplomatic relations. <laughs> I would say so. You don't really want that interplanetary nuclear deterrent, do you? Hmm. Where did blood... Oh, and how did blood get this planet-destroying weapon anyway? Okay, the best bet guess that I have for that is that Blood is the game this game's programmer sucked into the game 
Hmm. So could the explanation be that that's how he had programmed it? Hmm, maybe. Like Flynn in Tron. Alright, let's cast our vote for clearly the best candidate. Yes. Okay. That guy! Hmm, by the way, might be a story connection to Commander Blood where uh, Bob, a guy named Bob Morlock is an important fellow. Impossible, you want... No, I don't think so. You unknown brave. Me. Okay, well, the Morlock in Commander Blood certainly doesn't look like that. Morlock want peace, that's what they always say when they are campaigning. Oh? Yes. What is your great idea? Is it a great and cunning idea? Cunning as a fox. Promoted professor of cunning at Oxford University. Okay, not missile. Yes, I figure trying to nuke the prison from <laughs> orbit might be a bad idea. <laughs> Well, again, if the game gives us that option... Mm. Not radioactivity. Well, when you blow up a planet, that's not exactly your foremost concern. Well, no, the, the planet's where I keep all my stuff. That's my mm. concern. Reminds me of coming across somewhere. But a question about uh, how hazardous the... The, the just say the initial burst of radiation from a nuclear detonation would be, and the answer was, if you are close enough for to a nuclear explosion to get to be affected by that radiation, the heat and shock wave are going to be much more dangerous <laughs> for for you. <coughs> The thing with that that I've been told is that to tell whether you are in a fallout zone is if the mushroom cloud is bigger than your thumb. Hmm. If you put your thumbs up, then you're in a fallout zone. And I don't know if that's just because that's what Vault Boy does in Fallout or hmm. not, but the neat, cunning, like, double meaning if that's what it is. Oh, so that's why he's giving it a thumbs up all the time. In theory, yes. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't heard that. Wait, Morlock President, Morlock President, Roscoe. Yes, you saw just said that. Yes. You're kind of repeating yourself here, Morlock. Well, again, that would be how the politics train rolls. <laughs> Yes. Strong and stable. Yeah. Relevant humor. You vote me. <laughs> me, great president. You vote Moloch. Yes. Um. I already forgot. <laughs> what was the. <laughs> Oh, please. <coughs> I don't get how... Nah, I guess it looks like an L-O-K. Mm. No. <laughs> Not seeing it. Me neither. Um... We're talking about the election, fella. 
Yeah. Get on. Get on board. Possible you want to go spread it. No. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> I think I think we may have tripped up the speech parser. Yeah. We just need to say yes to him, or I think it might uh, look better if we just. Ah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. I just try, just try to say both Moloch dire directly. Mm. Oh, me. Uh, vote. Moloch. <coughs> mm. Mm. Let's try asking about this talk on trauma. Wasn't there a, a... Didn't it suggest we could vote for a second guy? Hmm. And from what you were saying, it's, um... Yukas. Uh, and yeah, from, from what you were saying, it's like, um simple democracy at literally any time. Mm. Yeah. So if we vote for this guy, can we then vote for the other guy and get his line of dialogue? Mm, I don't know if that's how it works, but let's let's try asking him about <laughs> this. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. I guess this is. Yeah, you guys is. And I thought this guy wanted peace. Well, there's going to be peace when all your opponents are dead, naturally. <coughs> Just like Stalin would have done. Mm. Better not hear Soviet Steve's. Uh, better not let Soviet <laughs> Steve hear that. Hi, Steve. Yes, kill Yukas equals great idea. You go. Okay, and well, we have a task now, certainly, but well, I think it's about time we end this video and start, uh, perhaps start a new recording right afterwards. Good plan, Captain. Then.